In this video, we are going to talk about line graphs. Line graphs are useful in analyzing trend over a period of time. Suppose if you want to see sales growth or decline in the last one week, last one month or last one year, this is a perfect example for visualizing the patterns. We will try to understand these line graphs by taking an example. Line graph also comes with a lot of customizations. We are going to explore each and every option right now. First, let's import matplotlib.pyplot as plg. Also, for data, I'll take numpy. Now, I'll create two variables. The first variable is days. So, I'm going to write a simple for loop which is day plus sti. So this should create 10 days for us, right? Day zero, day one, day two, day three, day four. Let's give some space here. Yeah. Let's start with one. Perfect. So I have day one, day two, day three, like this I have 10 days. Now I will create uh, two products. Product underscore A, product, uh, product underscore B, and then I will declare 10 random values for sales. Let's assume the sales are between $10 to $100 and 10 values. Same thing I'm going to use here as well. So we have a days variable. Also, we have product A, sales of A, product B. So this is how we got three random variables declared. Now we will try to visualize this data. Let's start with the data of product A basically sales of product A. I am going to plot this product A so the values are in between uh, 10 to 100 now you see the first value is at 15 second value is at 24 and the third value is at 82 86 72 and the 20, 62, and so on. Now you can also plot product B as well for comparison purpose. Now let's print the values of product B next to it. So we have product A, product B, and their corresponding visualizations. Now, in case if you want to remove this, the text that which is generating here, you can always add plt.show. Okay, so, so far, uh, this looks fine where I was able to plot the data. Now, one change that which I want to do was, I have day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, and I can, rep I can represent this day one, day two, day four, day five in X axis instead of what I have here right now. So for that, we have an option called x ticks so x ticks are nothing but the values that are present in the x axis like this is one tick and this is first one second three four like this so how many we have we have a total of 10 so i'm going to specify 10 values but instead of those 10 values what we need to use we need to use a variable called days so first you have to specify what are the original x ticks and then you have to add what is the modified ones so now if you notice, we have a clear representation of day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, day seven. Instead of one, two, three, four, like earlier you had, all you are getting right now is the labels that which you created. Now, the particular x-axis values looks a little cluttered. We can actually separate this out in a two different ways. One is you can always increase the size of a figure where you specify 10, five. Now this results in a 
better and a clear visualization. Let's separate this out a little bit differently. Yep. So this is a line graph of day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, and I have a product A, product B. Instead of having a normal values of zero, one, two, three, four, I've just replaced them with days. Now we are going to increase the aesthetics of this particular graph and make it more readable. Let's see what are all the options that we have for this. The first thing is uh, let's highlight the data points by using a command called marker equal to O. So marker equal to O results in highlighting each point. Now you see there is a dot that is mentioned. You can have different styles of uh, markers. You can play with different numbers, which should result in different kinds of shapes. So if you notice one, the value of marker one, it results in a triangle shape. So you can experiment with different values and see what kind of visualizations that uh, which you are getting. For now, I will go with for both markers as O because this is more intuitive representation of the data. So we started with marker equal to O and then you can add width its line width. You can increase the thickness or the width of a particular line. So if I just specify five, you see the thickness of a line. Suppose among these two products that which we are trying to analyze, you thought that there is a particular product that which I want to highlight or which I want to give more priority than compared to the other one. You can actually highlight that particular line by using a command called line width, which will increase the width of a line. In a similar to line width, we also have a parameter called alpha, which is a saturation point. So we add line width equal to 10. Now, if you see alpha equal to one means it's a very light shaded version of the color and 0.9 should result in a thick value, which is the original color of it. Alpha takes the values between zero and one. So this helps us to create a lighter version to higher versions. It's always recommended to use this with line width so that it's clearly visible to you. So we go with this like this. So one has a proper trend. That's why you wanted to highlight this line. The another one has a lighter or lesser importance. Maybe you wanted to shade out that and give less priority. Thus for this, you can use alpha. So alpha and line width are two basic commands of any uh, line graph. Now we will study a few more customizations. So I'm going to remove this line width and alpha. I'll start with the single plot. We can customize these markers by using different commands. So first command is marker size equal to 10. If you notice the size or thickness of the marker is uh, increasing. If I specify 20, it's even more. 30 like this so we'll keep it at 10 now a marker is a particular dot or a round it will have different features it will have a border you can draw border in a different color a border can have a size also basically a border can have thickness as well and there is a different color inside the border so you have three different parameters which is markers color and then you have border color border thickness so we're going to control these three by using different commands so let's see color this is a very straightforward one the complete will get converted to red now we will say marker edge color suppose i wanted to go edges with blue so if you notice the edge of a marker it got converted to blue now we wanted to have a different color inside a marker marker face color so this is the actual color inside the marker that becomes green marker width equal to
So this is marker edge width. I am increasing the edge and face color will become lesser. So let's try a different combination which is we will specify the total is this and marker edge is 1. So you have a different marker. In this case it is a blue circle, green face color. The total size of marker is 20 and uh, you have an edge with a width, uh, width of 1. One last change. So this is how you create different kinds of graphs using a line plot and uh, different kinds of customizations can be easily possible through marker size, marker edge color, marker face color and as plus marker edge width.